Hey guys, it's Brian again with another ceiling fan video. And what I have for you here is a 52 inch Miami Carry ceiling fan model CF852. This one is from the late 70s, early 80s. It's antique brass in finish. It has teak wood blades and these very unique, almost Florida Lee, sort of Chinese throwing star looking badges which are very unique, and I love them. The blades are in good shape, albeit a couple of scratches. It is light kit adaptable. It has a cast iron spinner motor, J-hook mount fan, and I'm using a factory five-speed wall control to demonstrate the fan. It is not the wall control that came with this fan, but it's pretty much the exact same thing that would have come with it, so that's good enough for me. Now, most of you will recognize this fan if you've been following my channel. This is my number two childhood fan of all time, and this is my very absolute favorite spinner motor fan of all time. And in a nutshell, what this is, is it's made by Union. It's relabeled as Miami Carry, and they were based out of Monroe, Ohio. And basically what it is, is a gold line with four wood blades has the exact same motor, and it moves the exact same amount of air, maybe a little bit less because it's got wood blades, but it is a freaking powerhouse. So, without further ado, let's turn it to number five on the lowest speed, and we'll demo it. And these were considered economy fans back in the day. But let me tell you what, this is a really high quality spinner motor fan. It does have a bit of a wobble to it. The blades are slightly warped. But the wobble goes away the faster it goes. Speed number four. Oh yeah, she is definitely moving some air. It was a nice gentle breeze on speed five, but this is definitely a lot stronger. Three. And I mentioned in my video of the Montgomery Ward spinner that I thought that that was the size of the gold line motors. It is not. It is actually the smaller version. This is a gold line motor. And it is absolutely cranking out air. And we've got two more speeds to go. This is like a high speed on a normal fan. Two. Oh yeah. Moves, a, moves an absolute ton of air. Now, this is a childhood fan for me. Um, number two childhood fan. There's a story behind it, and I'll turn the fan on high, and I'll tell you this story. For those of you who have heard this story before, Wow. 
She is absolutely hurricane mode right now. Hauling ass and moving a ton of air while they're at it. What a powerhouse. So anyway, getting into the story of how this fan is significant in my childhood. Uh, there was a place in Rocky River, Ohio, where my mother used to get her hair styled. Um, and the guy who owned the place had one of these in the salon that was white and polished brass. And he used to let me play with it all the time. And it wasn't on a factory wall control, it was on a solid state control. Like an EnviroFan solid state control. So I had a lot of good times. I actually got my first haircut there when I was a little kid. But I remember that fan very well. And sadly, when the shop fell under new ownership, they took the fan down and it probably got tossed in a dumpster or something. But I had left my name so many times with that place and told them I wanted that fan. But sadly, that fan is no more. So when I found this one, that was a big deal because it had to look exactly like that fan. I didn't care what finish it was in, but it had to have those blade badges and the nut on the bottom of the motor. And this is exactly what it looked like. Although it was white and polished brass, but I really don't care about the color. I actually kind of like the antique brass a lot more. So we'll go ahead and we'll spin down. But yeah, you can pretty much see what it would have ran like from the factory. This is one of the most important fans in my collection and this is one of my most coveted fans. So for any of those who are thinking of trying to get this from me, no, that is not going to happen. Although back when I was a kid, I was always convinced that it was an Evergo or an Enviro fan labeled fan, but I have actually seen this particular combination labeled as Evergo before. I've actually owned one that was new in the box. So that van could have been an Evergo. It may not have been a Miami Carry, although I would have I wouldn't have been surprised if it was labeled Miami Carry. But yeah, in a future home of mine, if I ever have the opportunity to install this fan, I fully intend to do so. And I will probably wind up putting it on a solid state control to get a better range of speeds because as much as I like these factory five-speed choke controls, the low speed's a little bit too fast for me. So anyway, there you have it. That's a remake of the 52-inch Miami Carry ceiling fan. Hope you guys enjoyed. Keep watching. More videos to come.